Hi guys and girls, welcome to another Savory Snacks video. In this video, we're going to take a look at a diesel fired generator. I'll show you what it is, how it works, and some of the typical applications that we would use it for. We've actually got a few generators in our 3D model database. You can head over to savory.com and access any of these 3D models. The four on the top row here, these are generators that are driven by a reciprocating internal combustion engine, which has an acronym RICE. What I mean here is that we've got a four stroke engine that's driving an alternator, and those two pieces of equipment that are joined together are what we refer to as a generator. The example that's a little bit further down here in the second row, three phase synchronous generator, that particular 3D model relates to the type of generator that's used within a power station. Let's load up this one here. It's labeled emergency generator, which strictly speaking isn't true because although we can use this generator as an emergency generator, we can use it also just to generate electrical power. So for example, we may use this generator to generate electrical power on a day-to-day -day basis, and it may be the way we generate mains power. For example, let's imagine you're working on a super yacht or a small commercial ship. This type of generator is going to be the one that creates electrical power. And you may have two, three or four of these on the ship and they will be the only source of electrical power available unless you go to shoreside power, such as when you're in port. If you want another example, imagine that you're out somewhere in the jungle and you're mining minerals. Or perhaps you've got a small camp in the rainforest where people are living because they're out in the jungle felling trees, maybe doing some mining, maybe doing some construction work. Whatever they're doing, they're most likely going to need electrical power. You're not going to connect this little town to a power station because that may mean that you're building hundreds of kilometers of transmission lines and electrical towers. That doesn't make sense because in a few years, perhaps the settlement, the little town moves on because they've mined all the minerals or felled all the trees or finished their construction work. So you need a quick and easy way to generate electrical power whilst the people are in that area. A quick and easy way to do it is to install one of these electrical generators, or if you need redundancy, you install more than one. Let's have a quick look at what this generator is and how it works. We're using air for cooling. That's what this front section here is for, we blow air across a heat exchanger. We've got an engine to the left of where my mouse is now, and it's this reciprocating internal combustion engine, acronym RICE, that we're going to use as a prime mover to generate electrical power. This type of engine is a four stroke internal combustion engine. It's the one that you are most likely to see. You're not going to see a two stroke engine used for this type of application generally, because two stroke engines are used for small applications or very large applications. So it's a four stroke engine. To the right of where my mouse is, in fact, if I just move over and spin it around, this cylindrical shaped item here is our alternator. It's the alternator that converts the mechanical energy from our prime mover, which is our combustion engine, into electrical energy. So we've got fuel going in, that's chemical energy, then we've got it being converted to mechanical energy by our internal combustion engine. Then we've got it being converted to electrical energy and that happens within our alternator. Let's have a look how that all works. We'll take a cross section. So you can see here we've got a typical four stroke internal combustion engine. We're going to inject fuel, the fuel gets ignited, the pistons move up and down, and then we transfer that linear motion from the pistons to a crankshaft here. The crankshaft then rotates. So now the motion is radial. And then we transfer that rotary motion to a rotor. You can see it's spinning here. And we generate electrical power. We do this because we induce a voltage in the stator, that's this outside piece here within the generator. And this difference in voltage potential allows current flow. So that's all that's happening when we want to generate electrical power. 3D model shown in this video, you can do so at savory.com. The model is available directly through a web browser and it works like I've shown in the video, but it also works in augmented reality and virtual reality as well. 
If you want to learn more about engineering, we've got over 45 hours of engineering video courses and tutorials at savory.com and we're constantly adding more. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much for your time.